Hi, this is the second part of Form 5 Mathematics, Chapter 2, Linear Law, where we want to solve linear law problems. So the table below shows the experimental values of two variables, x and y. So given x is 1, 2, 3, 5, and y has these values. It is known that x and y are related by the equation. So this is a non-linear equation, okay, where m and n are constants. Now, first, draw the graph of y multiplies the square root of x against x by using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x-axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y-axis. So now we are going to plot the graph. So before we plot a graph, we need to find the values of the x-axis and y-axis. For the x-axis, yeah, we can actually copy from here. So x will be 1. There's no changes to the x values. Whereas for y, you see, for y exists, we want to plot y multiplies the square root of, y, of x. So we have to take the value of y here, multiplies by the square root of x. For example, the first one will be 3.5 multiplies or times the square root of x, which is 1. So 3.5 times square root of 1 is 3.5. And we do the same for the rest. Now since we already have all the values, we can start to plot the graph. So I actually already plotted the graph here. So we look at the, again the x-axis. The x-axis is 2 cm to 1 unit. So we have the x-axis 2 cm to 1 unit. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then for the y, uh, y axis, we are 2 cm to 2 units. Means for every 2, u, two cm, the value is 2. So another 2 cm plus 2, it will be 4, 6, 8, until the highest value here we have is 15.59. So we just have to draw until 16. After that, we plot all the points. So I believe you know how to plot. So the first one is. The first one is uh, 1, 3.5. So it will be 1, and then this is 3, 3.5 in the middle. Okay. So there's one thing you have to be careful here is make sure when you are writing the values, you use two decimal places. Why two decimal places? Because it's easier for us to plot the graph. Okay. So after you plot all the graphs, plot all the points, you draw the best fit line, and I assume you already know how to draw a best fit line. A best fit line is a, gra a, a line which is uh, which passes through as many points as possible, and then it is balanced. Now, after you draw the line, this is a straight line. Okay, so we come back to the question again. From the graph, find the value of m and of n. Okay, so m and n actually comes from this nonlinear equation. But when we plot the graph, the graph is a linear graph. So it's a straight line graph. So if it is a straight line graph, we can use y equals to mx plus c to represent the straight line. And this is the linear equation. And so we now want to reduce this nonlinear equation to this linear equation so that we can find the value of m and n from the given graphs. Okay, what I mean here is this. First, we rewrite this equation. So we have, here we have y equals to m square root of x plus n divided by the square root of x. Since the graph that we plot is y square root of x against x, so what will happen if we multiply here with the square root of x? We try. If we multiply with square root of x, y will become y square root of x. For this term, square root of x times square root of x, you get x. So you get mx. For this term, square root of x divided by square root of x, you cancel off each other, so you get this m. If we compare this to the straight line equation, you'll find that y equals to mx plus c. 
you find that this um, when this is the y axis and the x is the x axis the n value here will be the gradient since this is the gradient and the n will be the y intercept so this is how we find the value of m and n okay so the gradient here is the gradient of the graph that we've drawn here and the y intercept will be this value so we try to find the gradient first okay so this m this m is equals to the gradient of graph so how do we find the gradient of graph we take the values from the point here we take we take the any two points so the points must be on the line so since this point and this point is on the line I just take this and this and then I substitute into the formula which is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 so my y1 here is this point which is 15.49 so 15.49 minus the last point which is the, this one 3.5 over 5 minus 1 and then I calculate I get 2.9975 so after I round off to four significant figures I get 2.996 so the value of m is 2.996 Whereas for the value of n, since n is the y-intercept of the graph, so we just look at the y-intercept here, this one. So this has the value, since this is 2, this is 1, so this, uh, this value is uh, 0 0.6. So the y-intercept is 0 0.6. Hence, n equals to c equals to y-intercept equals to 0 0.6. 6. This is how we find the value of n. And lastly, the last question here. Find the value of y when x is 2.6. The x here refers to the x-axis. So we come back to the graph again. 2.6, you locate where is the 2.6 from the x-axis. Uh, for the x-axis. So 2.6 is here. You draw a straight line up until it touches the graph. And then from the point there, we draw another, uh, when it touches the graph, at this point we draw a horizontal line. So that it touches the y-axis. So this point here, this value here is the value from the y-axis that we are looking for. And this is 8.2, 8.4, this is 8.4. But 8.4 is the value of y multiplied square root of x. So we are not done yet. We haven't get the final answer. So you see y multiplies square root of x equals to 8.4. And just now we are given that x is 2.6. So we need to substitute 2.6 uh, inside here. So you get this 2.6. When you solve this, you find the value of y. 5.209. Question number two. The table below shows the experimental values of two variables. Again, we have two variables. One is x, one is y. And then it is known that x and y are related by the equation y equals to a, b to the power of x plus 2. So notice that the x now, the variables here, is in the form of power. Where a and b are constants and a is an integer. So now we want to plot the graph of log base 10 y against x plus 2 using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x plus 2 axis and 2 cm to 0 0.1 unit on the log base 10 y axis hence draw a best line of best fit so now we try to fill in the values so since given that x is 0, 1 to, 1 to 5 so x plus 2 is easy we just add 2 to all those values here then for y we want to find the log base 10 of y. So we just find the log base 10 of all these values here and we fill in the table. And again, 
the values here, it's advisable to round off the values to two decimal places so that it's easier for us to plot the graph. So the first thing here, two centimeter to one unit on the x axis, and two centimeter to zero point one unit on the y axis, which is referred to the log base ten y axis. So I already drawn the graph here. Okay, so two centimeter, one unit. For the y axis is two centimeter, zero point one unit. So we just draw, and then we plot the graph, and we draw the line of best fit. Please make sure you extrapolate or you extend the lines until it touches the y-axis because we want to find the y-intercept. Now the question says, from your graph, find the value of A and of B. And since our graph is a straight line, since our graph is a straight line here, it obeys the equation of straight line, which is y equals to mx plus c where y is the y-axis, which is the log base 10y, and the x is the x-axis, which is x plus 2. X plus 2. However, we are given this line, uh, this equation, which is a non-linear equation. If we can reduce this non-linear equation to the form of y equals to mx plus c, then we can find the value of a and b by using the gradient and the y-intercept values. So what do I mean, okay? So from here, I rewrite the equation here. y equals to ab to the power of x plus 2. So since here we want to lock the value, I will lock the value of y, so we try to lock both sides here. Equals to lock base 10 of ab x plus 2. Then, using the product rule, we can take this since we want x plus 2 here so we need to use the, pro, uh, the power rule to bring the x plus 2 down here so log base 10 y equals to log base 10 a this I can bring to the front becomes x plus 2 log base 10 b. If I re uh, rearrange this according to this form, I get log Now comparing this to this, which is y equals to m x plus c, you see that y ex when y exists is log base 10 y and the x exists is x plus 2, log base 10 b will become the gradient will have the same value as the gradient whereas log base 10 a will have the same value as c so where, how can we get this value of course it's from the graph that we have drawn just now yeah so from the graph we find the value of m then we can find the value of b from the graph we find the value of y intercept then we can find the value of a okay so now log base 10 b equals to m which is a gradient. So m from the graph, we take two points from the graph. Okay, so we can take any two points on the graph. The easiest one is the, uh, we take the points on the graph. So the easiest one is this point and this point. Yeah, so the first point and the last point, I take the values. So the first point and the last point is this. I take the, I get 0.098. So it means that log base 10 b equals to 0 0.098. But the question asks for value of b. If we want to find b, we need to take away the log. So it becomes, this one brings here, it becomes 10 to the power of 0 0.098, which is, so 10 to the power of 0 0.098 is 1.253. Then next one, log base 10 a equals to the y-intercept, which is c. So, if you look into our graph that we plot, is uh, around this uh, value which is 0 0.3, so we just take this value for demonstration purposes. So, C equals to 0 0.3, which is 
five. So that is how we find the value of A and B, and all of this just is the basics of uh, using the linear law to solve the problems. That's all. Thank you.